the lyrics for Tormentor are actually, uh, oddly enough, were inspired by my grandmother and something she used to say to me as a child, uh, that actually quite heavy to say to a child, but when you're a kid you don't really think about it. She'd always say, uh, when you do something wrong, you know, when you commit a sin, you're putting Jesus on the cross every time you do that. And uh, when I started writing lyrics for this, I thought about that and I thought, you know, what a heavy philosophy that is. You know, to say to a kid for one, and then once you really think about it, it's you know, pretty dark if every time you do something wrong, you know, if you're putting them on the cross. And at first I thought that I would write the lyrics in, uh, in the perspective of Jesus saying, you're the cross that I bear, you're the crown of thorns. <clears throat> Maybe thinking like, hey, you know, if I ever met him, he'd be saying that to me. And then, uh, then I thought, well, you know, I'm the one that's really doing it. So that's when I changed the lyrics to say, I'm the cross that you bear, the darkness in the sky, I'm your crown of thorns, you're never going to cry, and so forth and so on. And it took a little bit of a uh, of research. Uh, most of the songs that we write, you know, we don't just like make up shit as we go along. We actually do a little bit of research. And, uh, I kind of did a, a kind of a quick refresher on, I guess, the passion and like all these the torment that he went through. And uh, that's basically how the lyrics came about. And the way James delivers it, very dark. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Very proud of that song. I'm happy with, uh, with everything so far. All the rough mixes I, that I've received you know, have been right on. You know, I think everybody did an incredible job for the time that we had, and the budget that we had. Uh, I would have liked to have taken a little more time to do this, but you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. And, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I guess the, the, the real question is, are the fans gonna be happy with it? Now we, uh, now we gotta wait on the toyer and see if he can uh, uh, produce some magic for us. Um, and Bill's never let us down before. I don't expect that to happen now, I mean, especially after some of the rough mixes. Uh, once he's done with that, we, we deliver everything to the uh, label. Um, you know, we're just going to start playing and writing more of the material. We, you know, we have another uh, album that we're going to have to record. And uh, in between that, you know, James is going to be doing his vicious humor stuff. And, you know, Rob and Russ and I will be doing uh, Turning Black and you know, there's one in two as well. So, you know, for the most part, all, all of us are, are very busy, you know, not to mention our day-to-day -day lives. But, uh, I wouldn't have any other way. Yeah, I feel fucking like very positive about it, like, it, it's, uh, there's something I feel magical about this whole uh, time for us right now. It just, uh, the timing was right, the idea, everything that we're doing, the way the songs are coming out, the, you know, the rise of metal today, just where we were kind of left out because we were ahead of time, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome feeling to know that I, I think we have a second chance to really go out there and bring the band to a level that it never was at almost overnight, whereas it took us 20 years of kicking mud and, you know, it's just strange, but I feel very positive, I don't even feel like, I have no doubts, I feel like, wow, plus some great label behind this, and just knowing how the love they have for the way they treat their bands, it's a whole different ballgame.